Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more How to Train Your Dragon with me, Tiny Turtle. And check it out, we've got our little bone napper added to the area. His tail is so big. I need to watch out for that thing. Like, I thought the Deadly Natter was pretty big, but look at the size of this guy. Like, it's only when you see them up close, you realize how big they are. But, um, they are really, really cool. Guys, I did a different kind of video yesterday that you guys were commenting on, and it was building the Bone Napper Castle. And you guys decided that I should add it to my real world, which is really, really cool. So, I'll get working on that, and I'll add it in somewhere soon. But let me just go around here and show you what we've got going on so far. Okay, stay up, Gronkle. Okay, there we go. We have got our Bone Napper Towers, our defense. So these are Bone Napper Soldiers. We keep them in here, but check it out. We've got little towers all over the place with Bone Nappers. So we are pretty well defended. I might even get rid of these watchtowers and add a few more of these guys in because... As you know, we are now the Bone Napper King. We can summon as many Bone Nappers as we want. And what is that flashing? I don't know. These guys are pretty high. Hello. Look, they just stand there and they keep an eye out for any bad guys. They just spin around watching to make sure there's nothing coming to attack us, which is absolutely awesome. I'm so happy with that. But let's throw this back down. There you go, Ropo. Sit there. Okay. So I was thinking... Because we've got the Bone Nappers and we are now the Bone Napper King that we should definitely add the Bone Napper to the Totem Pole because it's kind of, you know, we've forgotten it for a little bit, but we need to start adding more. We need more. So I'm going to start working on that and then we're going to continue our journey. We've got our full team together. We've got the Rogue, we've got Valak and uh, the ex-Dragon Hunter and we've got Erwin the Elf. So we've got our team. We need to go and we need to chat to the big guy down below and uh, see what's up see what's the next step in stopping the strangers once and for all maybe we should try break him out i think like go talk to the dragon lord or i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll see what we want to do but for now we are going to uh we're going to do the, the bone nepper head so i think i pretty much know how to do this based on doing the uh doing the castle so i'm just gonna give it a go you get a uh, ooh the jaw yeah the top of the jaw goes all the way back so let's let's just cut this out a little bit first. This is gonna be so much easier. I did this on a huge scale for the castle. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. I did it yesterday. Um, it should be on the channel there. Wait a second. So this should be. Let me see his face again. Okay, yeah, it sticks out a little bit more, or is it just cut down? It sticks out a little bit more. So that uh, the front bit of the jaw should actually be smaller. So up to about there. Oh, why well, you know break? There we go. Okay, so we're gonna have another addition to our totem pole, which is pretty awesome. We ooh, kind of need to put them back. Um, oh, no, it's not on draw. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's right. Uh, okay, we need to cut this out then. Down the bottom, definitely. And then... Do the same again. Boom! I hate when it's raining, but I don't really mind while I'm doing this, because I can't really notice. I'll get rid of it after, though. Okay, is that working? I think so. It's just that... Oh! Wait, no, it's the top of his jaw that's really small. So, let's get rid of that. Oh, wait. <laughs> Obviously, all the way back. This one shouldn't take long at all, actually. And then we'll go chat to the big guy. I'm excited to see what's next. What we have planned. I'm sure he has some sort of plan. He usually does. Oh, do -do -do -do. We're going to bring this back to about there. So, that's, his, uh, that's where his nose goes. And uh, we'll put his teeth all around there. We've got his eyes let's do his eyebrows kind of angry looking like that i like it i like it so far oh the dragon blocks the rain i keep forgetting that's so cool oh yeah it's big horns they're gonna be hard right let's get going with that i need i need a little bit of green though oh i have so so many blocks okay hang on get rid of a few of these we have too many and let me have did I get the green? Okay, we got a bit of green. Nice. So that's for his eyes. 
So let's cut them out. Probably that that should do it. Oh, we'll need to actually put some black in there as well. So, oh, they need to be bigger. They gotta look like stumpy eyes if that's possible. I think that would do it now if we fill them in. And then put black in the middle. That would be awesome, yeah, because he looks angry as well. Okay, black is over here. I'll need to get rid of that. Take a big chunk of them. Okay, we're actually going to fly through this. If the uh, if the horns and the teeth don't take too long, this should be pretty easy. Okay, so let's put on his nose. Is that in the center? Oh, he's got a... He's going to have to double nose it. Looking good. Looking good, my friend. Um, he's got big teeth in the front. Oh, wait. I think that needs to go back one as well. Because if I want to get the uh, the mouth bit. So, big teeth here. Oh, oh. And I can't make it any smaller than this. So, they're just going to have to be that size. And then we'll do some medium teeth. And then we'll do some small teeth. Oh no! <laughs> okay, that's gonna have to do. It looks alright. Actually, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's obviously full over there because it's not adding up over this side. Hmm. How did I miss that? Wait, what is going on? There's like a layer underneath. Oh, that is that does go too low. Oh, maybe it's better. Oh, that's okay. Let's just take it out. Nobody's going to know the difference. It's underneath. Well, you guys will all know. And I'll know. So that's everybody. But nobody will know. Okay. Um, let's put on his horns. This is going to be the interesting bit. Just like when I was building the castle. Not easy. So they start. I think I'm just going to, yeah. I'm just going to go for it. Like, organically, not try and make it crazy. Crazy symmetrical or anything like that. Oh, it's so hard. I can't even get around behind it. I'm going to have to get rid of bits of the wall. Okay, that'll do. That'll help. Up. Out. And down. Nice. Okay, let's go forward now. Get up. Get on up. Mm, okay, it's looking good. I was gonna say no there, but that actually that mistake worked out well, which is nice. Uh, get rid of that. Ooh, and then if we go back, I think that's good. I think we're getting there. What about that? Oh, yes, it looks good. Okay, now I just need to try, somehow, try replicate that. What? Oh, is that my baby knife, Fury? Oh, he's growing up. He is growing up pretty fast. Maybe it's the water. Okay, it's just really annoying me that all these are over here. I need to pick someone up and throw them away. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. I'll pick it all up after. Oh, I have so much stuff. And can we pick it all up now? Boom, okay. We've got it all, it's all cleared. Let's go around here. I've gotta at least get a little bit of it symmetrical though, that's the only problem. But this bit will be easy to uh to get symmetrical. Dun dun Alright, and then I think we went forward from here. Like so. Is that right? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, I think so. And then if I do one more. I think that's good. And then go backwards. Wait a second. If I get rid of that, does that look right? Ooh, we might actually have it even enough. Ugh, can you get rid of these blocks again? Okay, but this is actually a pretty fast, um, it's a fast one to get done. 
which is good. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> what happened there? Oh, I think these stepped out too far. Did they? What happened? So, okay. Oh, I see, I see. It was more like this. Up, up. Then this one was more like this. Is that right? Mm, yep, yeah, that's right. Okay, we are going to have it symmetrical after all. There we go. And then just a little bit. I don't know, is that right? Oh, I hate this. But we're nearly done. Now we can add it on and feel happy. Yeah, that'll do. That's close enough. That looks like it actually is pretty good. Okay, do I put the red around the mouth? I think I do, because we need a little bit more color in there. Um, do I get the red? Yes, I get the red. Okay, so I put the red around at the bottom here. Because that is what he looks like. Because it's kind of like the inside of his mouth because of the, uh, the jaw sticking out. I think that's what it's meant to be. Oh, wait, let's change this to draw on the region. Ooh, I like it. This was an easy one, guys. Well, easy enough. And it's actually turning out really good. Boom! I think we have it. Let me go see him. Ooh, he's got, like, those big square bits just to make his jaw look bigger. But I don't think we need that. I think he's absolutely perfect. So I'm going to add him to the totem pole. Then we're going to go and we're going to have a chat with the big guy and see what's up. See what our next goal is for our quest. These two are having a chat. It's raining. Oh, I need a house so bad. But I guess if I bring the Bone Napper castle in, I could live there as the king of the Bone Nappers. But we'll see. Um, all right. Time to put this on the totem pole. And I'm there. All right, guys. I've added it to the totem pole. Check it out. It is coming together nicely. I definitely want to get a bit of red and fill in the back there. You know what? I might do it real quick. Um, and then, you know what? Before we go and bring the... Uh, Bring the rogue stranger to the dragon, um, the big dragon, Red Death. I want to have a chat with him. I want to see, you know, I just want to find out a bit more about him because I feel, I feel like it's such a bad idea. We're just bringing this guy. Why did that not work? Uh, bringing this guy we don't really know much about into the ancient dragon. Like, he could be, he could just be messing just to try and find out where he is. So I'm going to just have a little chat, you know, see what's up, ask him what is going on and uh hopefully we get a bit of info out of them and then we'll go down and chat to red death so there we go guys check it out we've got boom 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 four uh we still have to do night fury i just haven't figured out a way to do it efficiently with the black yet um who else do we have to do oh we, we got our zipple backs oh and i fixed the egg i fixed the egg thankfully check it out oh oh get away let me go see um I don't know, I think Little Lizard said he might have picked up the Zippleback eggs for me. If he did, I'll get them back, but I'm not sure. Let me just double check. They could be in here. Oh, no, we got them. We got them. Okay. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to go uh, place them down in the baby daycare. And hopefully they hatch and they grow soon. But this is going to be so fun. I really need to do this walkway as well so that I can see in here. And where are you? Hello. Oh, you're, you're trying to escape, aren't you? You found the blocks. You cheeky little baby knife here. You're growing though. You look nice. Are, are you growing? I can't remember. I don't think so. Maybe. Alright. Ooh, I thought we were crushing there. We've got one down. Boom, we've got two down. And boom, we've got three down. Three hideous Zipplebacks. That is six heads. Guys, That that is pretty much six names. We need six names for these guys. I cannot wait for them to hatch though. Okay, I've got the book of telling so we can have a little look. We got a zipple back. We got unknown, unknown, zero days. Check it out and look at their tree eggs. Oh, and we got to do some sort of mural up here. Something really, really cool. I'll have a little think about that um, before we do it. But I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I need to get out of here without you getting out of here, my little friend. We need to figure out that system as well. If you guys have any suggestions, 
let me know because I know these dragons will try to follow us out. I definitely think some sort of piston door would be good. And then of course we'll do the glass walkway so we can we can keep an eye on these little guys. I've got a bone napper over there. You just can't see he's not uh there he is. I've got a bone napper over there keeping an eye on the baby daycare area and I still need to find someone to look after it too. But uh four totem pole heads, fix the egg, boom. Mostly <laughs> it's still missing some blocks up there it looks like. Um Got the towers, time to go, chat with the rogue stranger, and then chat with Red Death, see what the next part of our mission is. It started many, many years ago. I was simply a boy. My father took me hunting with some of the village elders. I thought we were hunting rabbits or foxes. It turns out that we were slaying dragons. It was disgusting, gruesome even. The elders would shoot hundreds of harpoons into the sky in order to catch a dragon. And once caught, they would immediately chain the dragon on the ground and connect the wound to some sort of blood draining mechanism they had developed. It would take several years to drain a dragon completely. Once they finished, they would push the dragon from the great cliff, resulting in a mass dragon graveyard located many miles from here. One dragon was enough to keep the entire village alive for a century, but it wasn't enough for the elders. They killed dragons at will. They killed them needlessly. They killed them for sport. Pretty soon there was nothing left of the ancient dragon species. We had enough dragon blood to last us a thousand years, but we knew that one day it would come to this. Now we are dying off, and the rumor that there are still some ancient dragons left is enough for us to launch a full-scale attack on any man, woman or child that stands in our way of finding those dragons. I want nothing to do with it. The rest of them think I'm a coward for not wanting to find or kill any more dragons. I'm here to make amends for all the horrible things I've done over the years. I'm at your mercy, Tiny Turtle. Ooh, that is a really sad story, but you're on the right track now. You're helping us. We're going to defeat the strangers. We're going to destroy the HQ. It's all going to be good, and you will be forgiven. Um, I don't think you should get your own dragon just yet. You're going to have to prove yourself first in the great fight with the strangers, uh, but you're on the right track. This is good. This is good. The dragon requested you. We need you. To help us so don't worry about anything in the past right now um speaking of the big dragon i think it's about time i tried to get him out i'm going to try free him i think from um his barriers down there so i'm um, guys i think you should stay here i'll go i'll see if i can find the dragon lord maybe i'll go down to him and ask where the dragon lord is um and see if i can convince him to let him out if not i might have to fight him but you guys wait here okay stay here mind the dragons and the bone nappers will mind you. Okay, I'm going to go talk to the big guy. Let's go. Okay. Oh, everybody's sleeping. Oh, it's so nice. I need to finish this tunnel too. There's so much that we need to do. And then in here is going to be epic. <laughs> I really like it. I really like it. Okay. Time to go and chat with Red Death. All right, there he is. Hello, big dragon. Mr. Dragon? Oh, hey. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I have collected all of my team. So we've got everyone. I just need you to tell me um, where the Dragon Lord is because I'm going to free you now. Tiny Turtle, this won't work. The Dragon Lord will not set me free. He needs me for my blood. Well, if you're not going to tell me, then I guess I'm just going to have to find out myself because it will work. I know we can get you out of there. Oh, this except it's pretty uh, buried in here. But listen, I'm going to go find them. You said they've got to be around here somewhere. Because if the goblins come and they're keeping you here, they've got to be close. So I'm going to have a little look around, see if I can spot anything. Because I haven't actually checked around here at all. I'm just going to try to uh, talk my way out of this, guys. I think I'll just chat to the Dragon Lord. You know, just let him know our situation. Maybe after all this time, he'll find a bit of compassion in his heart and let him go. That would be awesome. Oh, look at the size of his tail. Whoa, watch out. Watch out. Incoming. Don't hit me. Ooh. Oh, looks like a big fan. That is so fun. I'd love to see him outside of here. That'd be so cool. Imagine bringing him up to our base. Ooh, a little tower. Okay. Don't mind if I do. I'll follow this. Oh, it's red. Okay, we've got a, a way out up there anyway. Um, okay, I hope I don't just walk to my death. Because I don't have anything with me. I don't bring weapons or anything. Because in case... In case he sees that as a sign... Ooh, look at this. A sign of aggression. Or like... A sign of attack or something like that. So I have nothing with me. So there's no reason for him to get mad. Is this... Oh, is this a maze? 
Oh, I hate mazes. This has got to be. This is. Wait, maybe it's not a maze. This has got to lead to the Dragon Lord. I'm guessing. I hope. Oh, maybe it's not a maze. It just kind of directs you one way. Oh, no. Never mind. We've got two turns. Let's go this way. And this way. Ooh, we got stairs. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. If the Dragon Lord is down here, guys. I'm going to try and convince him. Try my best to let him out. Imagine how cool he would be up at our base. Oh, it would be so awesome. Ooh, we're getting somewhere. We've got all these old stones. What? Is this... Wait a second. They must be the goblins. Okay, hopefully they don't attack. I come in peace. I come in peace. Don't mind me. I'm one of you. I kind of look like a goblin. No? Maybe not. Oh, these are big goblins. Okay, please don't attack me. He's looking at me. They're looking at me. Is that the... That must be the dragon lord. Look at all these skulls. Okay. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. What do I do? Do I just try run? Oh, there's lava. Oh, I'm glad I didn't run. Oh. But they're not attacking me. Okay. This is good news. I was definitely expecting a lot of goblins to start punching me. And scratching me and stuff. Okay. <coughs> Ex oh. Excuse me, Mr. Dragon Lord. Um, hi, I'm Tiny Turtle. What is going on? I am Tiny Turtle, and I am here to just ask you if you wouldn't mind terribly uh, freeing the big giant red dragon you have in your dungeon. Uh, because he's my friend now, and I want to get him out, and I want to help him because uh, he's we're in a bit of a, a pickle here. We've got a situation. Let me get this straight. You want me to free the dragon that has been keeping me alive all these years. Are you certifiably crazy, Tiny Turtle? Put aside the fact that the dragon and I have a deal. Why would I give up the source of my everlasting youth? This is laughable. <laughs> uh, because it's not right what you're doing. You can't keep people or dragons or anything as prisoners. Just because you feel like it, this isn't good. You've lived for long enough, and I'm sure you've got plenty of supply of his blood somewhere around here. I know you are smart. You look smart, so you definitely do. So just please, 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 come on, let him out. You've got to do it. This is the last chance I'm going to give you. That's where you're wrong, Mr. Turtle. I am the Dragon Lord. I can do whatever I like. Now get out of here before I have my goblins chain you up, just like your dragon friend. Oh, and Tiny Turtle, I'm not sure how you got in here, but if I ever see you down in this tomb again, I'll make sure you never see the light of day ever again. Okay, that sounded like a threat to me. Did that sound like a threat to you? Yeah? Okay, that's how you want to play it, Mr. Dragon Lord. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave. All right. Okay. That guy is asking for it. Okay, let's get out of here anyway. There's too many for me to handle right now without any weapons or dragons, but I'll be back. I'll be back, you guys. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm going to go and I'm going to get... Uh, first things first, I need to kind of open up the area so that the dragon can get out. So Red Death can escape. Because um, I kind of blocked it all in to block the strangers from getting in, but now we need to get them out. So we need to open it all up again. I'm going to head back. I'm going to get TNT. I'm going to get some weapons. I'm going to come back, blow up the area. Um, then probably come down, fight the goblins, fight the dragon lord, if I have to. And then hopefully if I defeat him, the spells will wear off and the dragon can get out. I think that's our best bet. I think I remember the way back. I'm not sure. Do I? No. Do I? Do I? Can I do it? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's the plan, guys. TNT, weapons. Blow up all this dirt over here to get rid of it. Well, you know what? I could probably just walk across this. Um, to get rid of that so that the dragon can fit out there. It's a big hole we need because he's a big guy. Um, not, not about your weight. Nothing about your weight. You're just you're monst monsterly. Monsterly? Is that a thing? No, definitely not. Okay, let's get down here. Let's go get our TNT and I'll be back. Okay, I think that is a big enough gap there. We still have a bit of TNT left, but I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, look. Oh, he must have known I was coming back to break up out. He sent his goblins out here. 
Okay, we're gonna go down, take out these goblins, find the dragon lord, and tell this guy to get out of here. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm kind of scared, I'm kind of scared. I brought my good gear though, and I brought my armor, so check me out. Oh, I kind of blend in. Oh, no, I don't blend in. They know I'm here. They know I'm here. Okay, let's take them out bit by bit, bit by bit. I gotta hit them slow, because otherwise I don't do as much damage. Oh, wow, they've got a bit of health. Okay, oh. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's take them out, let's take them out. Boom. Oh, okay, we can hit them faster, it's a bit easier. They're not very strong at all, but they are goblins, I suppose. But they are big, I thought they would be much stronger. Get in the lava. Alright, moving around, moving around. What if I can just send them in straight away, that'd be so good. Boom, he's going down. Okay, hang on, let's see if we can... No, this guy's just gonna go down, I think. Ooh, close, close, close. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, you can go in there. And die, please. Okay, you're about to die. Oh, watch, I don't hit the dragon. That would be so bad. Imagine him turning around and attacking you. Although he can't do anything from in there with those spells. That is why. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Okay, there's still a couple more around there that I need to sort out. But, you know what? Let's get up here. Let's go sort the dragon lord out. And then, once and for all, get this dragon out of here and up and into our nation. He's going to be a part of our nation. That is the coolest thing ever, the Bewilderbeast. Guys... If we can defeat the Dragon Lord, I hope he's not too strong for me. Let's go find out. Uh, do I remember the way? I think I know the way. It kind of directs me there, but I'm not sure. Imagine trying to build an enclosure for Bewilder Beasts. Like, I'm going to have to do that if I get him out. That's going to be crazy. Like, it's going to be big. Yes, I found the way. It's going to be so big. All right, let's get him out and then let's worry about that after. Although he has been living in a dungeon for a long time, so I don't think he'll be too worried with what his accommodation looks like. Um, boom! Okay. All the goblins are gone. Perfect. It's just him. Alright, that's it, Dragon Lord. You and me. That's all that's left. Well, a couple of goblins, but I'm going to start them out. Okay, well, calm down. I thought we were going to talk first. Ooh, okay, okay, you're coming. Oh, ow. Okay, I'm going to take you out. As soon as I take him out, guys, the dragon will be free. He'll be able to get out of here. Come on, come on. Ow! He's stronger. He's a lot stronger than those goblins. Okay. Come on. I wonder if he has any treasure down here. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it if you do. Oh, boom. I will claim your soul, my friend. Alright. Time to go and tell the dragon that he is free. Although, he probably knows. He can probably feel it. Let's see if he goes and if he leaves. Fly him out of here. I can't thank you enough, Tiny Turtle. As bold and as dumb as that move was, you freed me. And for that, I owe you my life. Oh, don't mention it. Don't worry. Um, I think that's enough action for today, though. If you don't mind, you can stay here. I think this is enough space. I don't really... I'm sorry. It's like, I've never had anything as big in my area before. Like, you are humongous. But yeah, you're free to stay here. I will get you a, a home though. I'll get you a place to call your own. It's not very safe for you just out like this. We'll probably try and hide you a little bit. Or, well, it's probably really scary to keep you out as well. But okay, let's just keep you there for now. Um, but guys, we got him out. This is so awesome. It's so, so good. Okay, oh, let's check our zippo bags. Have we got any babies? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. Um, oh, I, don't, I can't even... No! You're not getting hurt, are you? <gasps> Don't fall asleep in the block! Oh, I'm so lucky I came over! Are you okay? He's still only one day old. His favorite fruit is rabbit, and it's a female! Ah, that's nice. Okay, um... I'll have to get it some rabbits. I haven't seen any, I don't think. Or maybe I've seen loads and I just don't know. Look at these, they all like sleep together. Maybe it's for warmth. Look at a bone napper when he's sleeping, he's all curled up. It's because he's so long. Oh, he's like a big doggy. Oh, he's breathing. Hello, little bone napper. Oh, he's so cute. Still need to pick his name. Okay, uh, you guys, I got the big dragon out, but no need to worry. You guys just chill there. I'll do all the hard work. And boom. <laughs> I didn't realize, guys, I didn't have it on. You should have said something. You probably did. I've got my face cap back now. Um, okay, so Zipplebacks are being born. We've got our Bone Napper Towers. We've got the Bewilder Beast. Now I need to figure out what to do. We've got 
this guy. Oh yeah, I started to do like little designs because I'm gonna have to do something, a little something, something on these just to make them look uh, look cool in these areas. Let me see. So I just did a little square thing. You know what? Why not? Just to decorate it a little bit. It is gonna be our totem pole for our nation after all, which is gonna be sick. It's gonna be so cool. I think it just adds to it a little bit. That was obviously different but it's all gonna be different it's all gonna be different I really want a zipple back to hatch now because like I haven't ha I don't have one at all that would be that would be perfect that would be so cool oh you know what what have I got what have I got um I have got mossy bricks should I use the mossy bricks maybe to to do this to do the walkway yeah why not we may as well do it while we've got time, guys. We may as well do it. Just so that we can uh, we can watch the baby dragons. And I'll keep an eye on the zipper backs. Hopefully one of them... Oh, no. I'm probably play some little blocks. Hopefully one of them um, ha hatches. Come on now. Come on. Get off. Okay, we got it. Um, hopefully one of them hatches while we're doing this. That would be the best situation ever. We get to watch them hatch as well as have new babies although I've planted I put them all down very similar times so I guess they're all gonna hatch pretty similar times as well um, okay so this has to be wide enough to be able to walk around peacefully and have a nice little look at the dragons inside uh, I don't want to do it too wide though let's see I'll, I'll go up there and have a look down in a second because I do want the eggs remember I was saying the eggs to link up here uh oh, um, so that we can have the babies hatch in the hatchery and walk straight over. But uh, that's going to take a bit of time. We're not going to be able to do that yet. We've only got one egg, and I think I'm going to have to move it over there somewhere. Oh, I might go plot out an area for my bone napper castle as well, because you guys voted on that, and you want it in. So um, let's go and see where we should put that also. And we're nearly done with this. Can I reach it? No. Can I reach it? I can't reach it. Can I reach it here? Wait, it can jump up. Mm -mm. Oh, we got it, we got it. Okay, let's go up there and see if there's anything we need to do then. See if that's okay. How long does it take these guys to hatch? I don't even know. We need to figure that out. Okay, so it's nice and wide. Nice and wide. Nice and wide. Mm, let's get another one in there. Nice and wide, and... Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Should probably be able to get into the library from here. That would be pretty cool. Um, but we've we've got a walkway. It works. It definitely works. Now I need to figure out the door system. Okay, where I'm going to put this bone napper castle. And I need ideas for the bewilder beast enclosure as well. That is going to be a crazy one. It's going to be so big. You know what? I'm going to go wake up a dragon. Fly around and see where the best place for this bone napper area is hello spike you're closest to me unfortunately so you have to unfortunately for you you've got to do it oh yeah i want to summon those two big bone nappers as well and do podiums up there i'm gonna do my house inside here it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be so cool um but we got the bone nappers all around okay let's go right up i want to get pretty high now so we can see our nation from the top okay um i'm definitely gonna get rid of those big towers i think those three i don't think we really need them um, the library needs a little dragon on top, 100%. But this place is coming together. Oh, look at the bewildered beast. He's just like a big building himself. He's absolutely ginormous. Uh, okay, bone napper castle, bone napper castle. Gotta get that village out of there as well. Hmm, maybe over this. This where is where I kind of said I would do the uh, do the hatchery. Well, I was thinking I could do the hatchery, but you know what? The bone napper castle can come out here. So I'd say. If you come around behind the daycare and we do a little paths up up this way get rid of that tower get rid of that tower and put it smack bang in the middle there so let me see because you guys loved it you guys really want it in so I'm excited so we'll get rid of that we'll get rid of that one and then we'll put it in between two of, the, two of these towers and I'm actually gonna make the corner turrets um, have bone nappers as well, like that. They're going to be the, the walls, pretty much. Yeah, I like that as walls. So we'll have the entrance pretty much here, I think. Something like that. That would be pretty awesome. 
and then obviously I'll make it a bit higher so we can see over our land a little bit but that's the bone nappers castle that's where I'm going to keep the bone nappers of course we do have these enclosures in here for the night fury the deadly ladder and the grunkle but they are very very small in comparison to what I'm gonna have I'm gonna have lots and lots of dragons because apparently they can breed so wait that's female night fury what's what's wait where is toothless Toothless went for a walk didn't he hmm I'm gonna have to find him maybe he'll come back soon and then we gotta figure out what to do in here if you guys have any ideas let me know because there is a lot of space like look at this it is huge obviously up there I'm gonna do my whole house so I can see in here and I can see outside that is gonna be so sick I'm gonna have glass and I am excited for that that is gonna be cool so we've got the bone wrapper. Oh, this, I just really want a zipple back. Oh, I'm going to have to do... What way am I going to do the totem pole for the zipple back? Because it's two heads? Uh, I'm going to have to do two small heads, I think. Well, that's going to be a fun one. Oh, how long does it take them to, to hatch, though? It's really taking a while. Um, I put my big fire dragon in here because he was breaking everything. Because he's growing pretty big. Okay, is there any way of telling... You are, you are you two days yet? You're not even two days yet. How does that make sense? Is there any way of telling how long these are going to be? Simple back? No. He's a day old. I don't know. This guy's a day old too, but he was stuck in the block. Silly, silly Night Fury. If I wasn't here, he could have died. Imagine how sad that would have been. Okay, well, let's actually push him down. Ooh, I need to work on this day carry as well. You know, I think they just... They need a bit more in here. They need some... Some hay, I think, maybe. Some feeding areas. With all their favourite foods. Oh, I'm pushing them into the block again. Okay, go. Go. I don't want to stand on you. I just want to get you out of here a little bit. <laughs> He's a heavy sleeper. He doesn't wake up at all. He's so cute, though. Oh, look, he's even wagging his tail in his sleep. Oh, little baby. Come on, what have you hatch? I was just kind of hoping that these would hatch while I'm in here. But it doesn't look like it. What's that? That little fishy up at the top. These are so cool. But guys, I think I'm going to leave it up here. I hope you did enjoy today's episode. It is pretty awesome that we now have the Bewilderbeast out and about with us. We do need to build somewhere for him, for his, uh, for his enclosure. Because it's not safe having him out like this. It is pretty bad, actually. Um, we've got our Bone Napper army. Well, some of them. You know, we've got a lot more to come. Are you not sleeping? Why aren't you sleeping? It's night, it's night time. You should be sleeping. Take a chill pill. Maybe you don't have enough space. Um, but we're going to work on that. We're going to work on that. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a big thumbs up if you did. And of course, go over to our Instagram if you want to see sneak peeks on what dragons are coming next. I put one up yesterday and a lot of you guys are excited. So go check that out if you want to know what's coming next to the mod. And you can uh, be one of the first to know. But the link is in the description if you want to go and leave a little follow. And of course, we will see you soon for some more. Bye!